In today's cartoon story joke, we will tell you a story about lying. But to get to the comedy portion of today's story, we must delve deeply into the history of lying. Let's face it, folks, humans, and fibbing. It's a match made in, well, not exactly heaven. But hey, at least we're consistent from little Tommy denying he borrowed his sister's doll, looking at you, Timmy Two Left Feet, to politicians, well, politicking, lying's been around longer than bad puns at a dad joke convention. You turn on the news, and bam. There it is. Mayor caught in tall tale. Or, did Wall Street whoppers cause the great pie fight of 2008? Lies are everywhere, multiplying faster than roaches at a bakery convention. You, but you get the picture. Studies even say we all sprinkle a few whoppers into our daily conversations, which some folks are calling a crisis. Here's the thing. A little white lie never hurt a fly. Unless it's a whopper so big, it squishes a fly. We've got a whole thesaurus dedicated to softening the blow. Fibs, fudges, embellishments, because flat-out lie sounds so harsh, right? Now hold on before you banish Pinocchio to Honesty Island. Lies, believe it or not, can be heroes in disguise. Ever heard of wartime deceptions? Yeah, those whoppers saved lives. And let's not forget the countless social faux pas avoided by a well-placed, that outfit looks amazing from afar. Bless your heart, Brenda. Those leggings are a crime against fashion. So, the next time you hear someone ranting about lying politicians or catch your reflection practicing that totally believable alibi, take a deep breath. We may be a planet of prevaricators, but that doesn't mean we're all mustache-twirling villains. Let's focus on the whys behind the lies, not just the fact that they exist. After all, a little honesty is a good thing, but sometimes a whopper is the social lubricant that keeps the wheels turning and prevents international pie-related incidents. Now let's jump straight into the deep end of the pool with our comedy of the day. This old man, let's just call him Uncle Joe for today's joke. We're staying in a small town, not too far from a major city. Now Uncle Joe was used to disappear on weekends without his wife, to go and play a game of golf with his mates. After the game, he will always get back home to talk about how bad his game was, or how drunk the boys got at the golf course, and the reason why it's just not the place for a lady like his wife. Never in his life would he have thought that his golfing stories would one day came crushing down with hilarity. So, this year, when it was Uncle Joe's birthday, his wife made a very special arrangement to take Uncle Joe on a very special trip, being his birthday and all. There would be no golf on that weekend, as she has planned a very special day for him. During the morning, a taxi stopped in front of their house to take them to the big city, as Uncle Joe surely never venture into these places, as he is always playing golf with his friends on the weekend. His wife gave the driver the details of this place she has picked up on the internet, as she also never ventures into the big city, being a small town girl and all. The taxi dropped them of and left. Uncle Joe was clearly not impressed with this place his wife wanted him to enter being a small town guy, but she insisted, it will be okay, honey. Don't worry, you will be just fine. Now, as they entered the venue, the guy at the door said, Hi, Uncle Joe. Nice seeing you again. This took his wife by surprise, and she said, Joe, where did this guy know you from? Uncle Joe dragged his wife inside and said, His dad and I went to school together. I have been knowing him for many years. Didn't know he was working in the city. This put his wife to rest, and they went to get a seat. As they sat down, the barman shouted to Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe, same as usual. Now his wife was very confused. Don't you dare telling me his dad was at school with you. Not at all, Uncle Joe said, waving at the barman. I play golf with his dad, and when he is not working, he joins us for a couple of drinks after the game. He knows me very well. Now, as you can imagine, his wife was very nervous at this stage but being innocent Uncle Joe, she calmed down. Then, a very attractive waitress with a low-hanging blouse came to deliver the drinks. The stepped over Uncle Joe's legs, leaned over and gave him a little kiss on his neck and said, Are you going to have the same today, Uncle Joe? 
That was obviously the last straw for Uncle Joe's wife, so she dragged him out of that place and got the first taxi coming by. She forced him into the taxi and said, you are going home immediately. After she gave the driver directions the taxi took off, Uncle Joe did not say a word. But then it happened. The taxi driver looked into his mirror and said, Uncle Joe, I see you got yourself an ugly one today. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.